On the launch of the PSVR, a game I highly enjoyed was a game called Job Simulator. It was one of the first VR games to pass $1 million in sales and was insanely popular across YouTube and other video platforms. So when Vacation Simulator was announced, I was very excited. And now that it's out, we can see if it lived up to the hype. So, is Vacation Simulator any good? Vacation Simulator is a game about going on vacation. You start out in your own suite where you can customize your character and relax. Right when you start the game, you are greeted with a robot that guides you around the suite. Once you're done exploring your suite, you are greeted outside with three different vacation areas. The beach, forest, and finally mountain. Each of the areas are unique and are filled with tons of fun things to do. You can choose to either relax or just have fun. Or you can go for the collectibles known as memories. Memories are earned by completing tasks or helping out robots. Each time you earn a memory, it will be added to your watch. There are multiple watch scanning points where you'll need a specific amount of memories to access areas and minigames. I really enjoyed going for memories, and I'll definitely be coming back again and again until I have all of them. Alchemy Labs has always been the king of VR interaction in my mind. In Job Simulator, almost everything you saw you could pick up or interact with. You could play with computers, ovens, coffee makers, fidget spinners, and a bunch of other stuff. And yet again, they knocked it out of the park. There are so many fun things to interact with in the vacation spots. There are vending machines. Thank you for your patronage, my human. No! What? Oh my gosh. A game console with playable games, a hotline for food service, waffle makers, bathtubs, cooking tools, and so many unique and fun things to play with. I found myself spending a lot of time in each of the areas just because I wanted to see what everything did. The mini games scattered around Vacation Island are well designed and fun. Some games will have you making sandcastles or ice sculptures, and others will have you trying to get a high score by throwing balls past a goalie. They have a wide variety of unique mini games that I really enjoyed. This game definitely feels like a worthy sequel to Job Simulator. It wasn't too simple, and it gives the player a lot to do. It's also a great game to show other people when demonstrating VR, just like the first game. It's simple enough for any person to grasp, but still fun for the more hardcore VR gamers. So overall, Vacation Simulator lived up to the hype. If you enjoyed Job Simulator, you'll love this game. If not, you might want to wait for a sale, or buy it if you know people you could show it to. Vacation Simulator has great graphics, gameplay, interactability, and replay value. If you want to relax or hang out with a bunch of robots in VR, this is the game for you. And now a song by Will. <laughs>